This is Outdated, and welcome back to the Bonfire Chronicles. And so, today, this episode, we are going to try to make our way into the palace. And so, I'm going to make some changes to my equipment load. First off, I'm going to get rid of the regular arrows. And I'm going to switch to poison arrows. Um, beyond that... Yeah, I think that's all I plan to do. I think everything else looks about right. So, we're going to go ahead and get started and see what we can find. So, first off, I, I, you notice I'm at 8,000 or so souls. I did do some leveling up. I just farmed this area for a bit. I'm only 4,000 or so away from leveling up again. But I got I don't remember where I was at the end of the last episode, but I did bump my vitality up to 25 and endurance to 25. I think I moved... A strength might have already been there, but I moved dexterity to 20. Uh, I think that's basically what I did. I might have picked up a point of something else, like maybe faith or intelligence, something. I may have picked up a point here or there. So, um, what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you the farming route I do here, which is really easy, honestly. And partly it's because I do the pyromancy thing. And this works even with like weaker pyromancies, but that great chaos fireball makes this much easier. So I'm going to run over here. And these are the guys I had to fight to get to the chest. Remember, there's three more on the other side. I'm going to take them out one at a time. Start with Lefty McLefterton here. Come on over. There's somebody else playing, running around with, like, no armor and a halberd. Looks like a giant halberd, too. Okay, I'm going to try to get him, bait him into attack. Come on. Moving again. Alright, he's about to do the shield thing. Back out. And finish him. Thank you. And you can also farm these guys for uh, their shield, their halberd, and their armor, I believe. Although, I think the shield and the halberd are much easier to get. Well, I think I've picked up two or three shields and halberds already. I haven't picked up a piece of armor yet. So, I could be wrong on this, on the armor. I mean, there might be a place you just pick that up. But if for some reason, I thought you could farm it from him. Back up. Oh. So, now that shield pounce thing, it's a bit of a pain in the butt. But if you back out like this when he does it, then hit him with a heavy. Okay, that was a little too much. Dodge. And you're done. Oh! Iframes, really? Okay. Yeah. Now, I switched to my Pyromancy Flame. I'm just going to go over here. Line this up. Alright, normally that will get him for his whole health, but I didn't quite get time it right. that up. I'm just not on my game today. Gotcha. Okay. He didn't drop anything. But what I normally do is I do this on both sides. Right? And once I do it on both sides, that gives me about 9,000 souls. Which is a real quick way to level up. You know, once you get here, you probably only need about, like, I don't know, when I think when I got here, 9,000, I think I needed around 11,000 for a level up, but after the leveling up, I need more. I'm going to go ahead and do one more level. Let's, let's see. Vitality, that's an increase of 39. I haven't hit the soft cap for vitality yet. Let's go ahead and get that. No, you know what, let's... 4 damage, 2 damage. Let's focus on upping my strength, and we'll get it up to 35. So we'll do that one point. Go ahead and repair everything. Now, let's go breach the castle. And with only 596 souls, I really don't have anything to lose except humanity. So we're going to go this way. Now this is actually a more challenging battle to get where I'm going than you think. I love the wind sound. It's cool. Somebody try to jump off. I'm just curious. 
Did their blood stain just fall? Right, where are you? There it is. Somebody need to call that elevator. We're heading right there to the palace. Now that we've taken out the, uh, now that we've taken out the gargoyles, they do not respawn here, so we don't have to worry about them. Now that we have also adjusted this thing, we can actually get over there. But there's some stuff that I haven't shown you yet involving this thing, so let's do that real quick too. So first off, if we go down to the bottom of this, we can enter the cathedral from the underside where there's all those uh, guys in white um, and there's a big painting and I mentioned before it could bring you to an alternate area we'll do that later I want to do that after we've taken out this main section and then um, of course we can go across that way but what we can do I'm hoping I turned it the right way let's see going down Okay, that, that's the entrance. I think I did it the wrong way. Let's see. Let's just double check. Where's the underside go, or does it go anywhere? Oh, this is what I want. Okay, so once I turn it that way, I can go in here. To another bonfire. Which actually gives me a really good reason to use some of this humanity I have to kindle this because there is a boss fight an optional boss fight really close to here okay um, I am going to go ahead and kindle it so now I have even less to use if I end up dead less to lose not less to use that made no sense whatsoever okay this brings it up to 15 so I would need one more humanity. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Let's go ahead and grab this. Ring of the Sun's Firstborn. Um, and that's Lord Gwyn. But there is a secret here that we can unlock later. Open area ahead. Okay. That's not actually true. All right, we're going to head back up. We're going to mess with this later. I don't want to... That boss fight is just... It kind of, let's just say that it, as far as story progression, you can completely skip the whole thing, but there's two ways to kind of like make that happen, and we'll deal with that later. But there is a covenant you can find there too, and we'll get to that. For now, move this back into position. And away we go. Back to where we started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to have to deal with, well, as you can see, there's an item all the way up there. See those uh, guys that look like the gargoyle things that flew us into Orlando, but they're not friendly, just so you're aware. If you ever get stuck, you can use this to, like, return the thing. There's an item over there with another gargoyle. A lot of people make comments here. Try dashing through. Bonfire. The reason they say that is in Dark Souls 3. You actually return here, and there is a bonfire there. Imminent tears. Okay. So we're going to start. And I would say the only thing that makes this a little more difficult is the actual place you're fighting. We're going to start by taking these two guys on. One at a time. As always, do not get greedy. But it's where we're fighting that makes this annoying. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. And... Ah, I screwed that up. Ah, I screwed that up too. Can't do it from down there. Lure him down a little more. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Backing up. Ah, I didn't back up enough. Dang, just can't get him. Okay. Now he's giving me fits. Come on, dude. Ah, I went just underneath his crotch. That sounded wrong, but you know what I mean. 
Gotcha. Darn it. Thought I had him. All right. Come on. Come and get it. Somebody just kindled a bonfire. Thank you. Once he does that, you can usually just hit him with a heavy, and it's good. You just gotta be careful. Again, Dark Souls number one rule, don't get greedy. Come on. So we're trying to breach the castle here. Dodge. Stab. Slash. Slash. And if you can get in a move like that, you got him. Okay. Now. Hey, demon guy. See, he's trying to get to me. I don't think I can actually hurt him from through here. He might be able to hurt me, but I don't think I can hurt him. Or maybe I can. Ow! Okay, we both can. That settles it. There. I don't know. I mean, I don't really need to do that right now. Okay, you cannot get in these doors yet. We are going to have to move through this way. I always like to take a quick look for any treasure. You'll see there's doors over here. You can't get in those either, so don't waste your time. Come on, guys. One of them will sense me in a minute. Come on. These guys do some lightning damage. Wee bit of a pain. There he goes. The good news is once I hit them, they get flattened. And I can usually get another hit in if I'm in the right position. Ah, he's gonna get me. Got him. Let's heal. I think there's one over here. There he is. Hey, dude. See, if I would have went after that other one, he'd have had, like, mince, made mincemeat out of me. Come on. Take him out. There is a really easy way to take this guy's out. And that's uh like when he's standing on the ledge like that, if you hit him with uh, your bow, you'll probably knock him off. And strangely enough, even though he has wings, he can't fly. Seems like a major evolutionary problem, but whatever. Okay, I can't remember if there's a treasure over here. I don't think there is. Here's where it's gonna get tricky. Up here, that way, there are going to be a couple of knights with bows, and they can make your life a living heck. I'm checking real quick, make sure there's nothing over here. There's nothing. But those guys with bows can make your life a living heck. This is our path forward, and there's more demon things over here. So I'm going to go ahead and pop one of these. We're going to go down, we're going to take out these two demons, and set up for the quote-unquote easy route. Here we go. Are they both going to come at the same time? Got you. Where's your friend? Ow. Two, pop a heal. All right, did he drop something? No, he didn't. Okay. This probably says how good the view is. Try right. Yeah, that guy was trying to fight him and it didn't quite work out. He got stun locked and died. Okay, so there they are. Whoa. So you can see there's one right there. And there's one right there. Oh, God. Almost got me. So I'm switching to my bow. And I have poison arrows. So this is going to be the hard part. Oh, good. I'm safe here. The easiest way is to run up here. And when I'm in here, they can't hit me. See? It hits this stuff. So I'm just going to get close enough. Ow. Okay, maybe they can't hit me. Trying to hit him and poison him. Oh god, I died. Okay, they can knock me off there. 
but that's the best way to do it. If you run after them, which seems like a good idea, you will end up in a, uh, going good, I'm, I'm just here, so it's not so far off. I gotta switch my weapons back now. Seriously, gotta wait on this. Um, so that's another reason to hit this bonfire, though, so you don't have to run back here so much. And I can run past those big guys and get to this a little quicker. Because they cannot get through those gates. And that's exactly what we're about to do. So, um, the big thing to remember is if you run up after them, just one of those arrows will knock you off the ledge. And now, I was in an area where I'm somewhat protected. There's those little grates, but that did not work according to my plan. And normally, if I'm in the right spot, it works. I just messed it up. Uh, uh, come on. There we go. So we're going to try that again. But if you run after them, then there's like a section you can get to where you can kind of hide behind a pillar. But then you have to go around the pillar to keep going up. And then they will totally kill your face. Because there is no railing. And so you'll fall down quite easily. Okay, and I am down to 17 Estes instead of 20 because I only had that one kindled up to... 15, but that's okay because I it will top out of 15 if I have trouble with this right now the key is just breaching the castle so Excuse me pardon me Now I want to stay pretty far away from them Okay, let's get this guy to respond You know why not let's do that Oh god, did he come in here? He can come in here. Oh shoot. I didn't think he could. Got him. Heal. Dodge. Okay, that. That almost cost me my souls and everything. Alright. That sucked. Okay. Um. Oh, messed up. Got him. All right. You can see my souls over there. Here we go. We gotta take these idiots out again. Oh god. Here we go. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Alright, we might actually get lucky anyway, because they may kill themselves. Hey, he did. Thanks for that. Huh. That's actually pretty funny. Because again, his lack of flight, even though he has wings. Oh, come on. Come on, you can do it. Gotcha. Alright. Up heal. Alright. Whew. Oh, oh, there we go. Alright. So let's switch again. Watch out for that. Let's see if I can get him from here. Oh, come on. He can get me. Alright, so my best bet is to run. Grab that. Good luck. Uh, yeah, because if you do this the old-fashioned way, it's like the dead-fashioned way. Now, there is a spot down here where I'm safe. I just got to find it. Let's try right here. Uh, nope. Not right there. Ooh, but right here might be. Let's see. But not hitting me. Okay, here we go. Uh 
higher. The amount of damage I do doesn't matter. Hitting him is what matters. Because once I hit him a couple of times, he'll be poisoned. Got him. He's poisoned. I'll get him with a couple more just to keep building that poison up. Alright, there we go. Now while it's working on him, let's take him out. A little. The, the, you're always aiming just a little to the left of your target anyway when you aim down sights. Because there's no real sights because of the bow. But you got, of course, because of range, I gotta go up. Got him. So let's just keep hitting him. Okay, and now we wait. Now, one thing we can do if we want to be really sneaky. Now that we've poisoned them, let's switch out to our standard arrows. Let's speed up the process just a little bit. Hit, hit you. There we go. Missed him. So this is quite time consuming, but it's a heck of a lot better than the alternative. Trust me. I think I got him that time. Let's see. 40 to 43. Nope, I didn't. A little higher. I'm not sure if I'm getting him or not. You know what? I'm just going to let it do its job. damage I'm even doing if I did hit them. Yeah, we're not gonna worry about it. How's he doing? Still poison, look at it. The poison is still doing its job. We're just waiting here patiently. Pop a heal. So this is a notoriously difficult spot. As you can see like over here on the left, that thing he's standing on, that like buttress, that's what the one past the tower is, and it's real easy to die there. And he is out. Thank you for the 1300 souls, and we're gonna get something from him. So now we gotta wait for this guy. So now I'm actually just gonna run up here and wait. And the best way to wait is just kind of wait till you see the souls pop up. You can see his health bar still going down. So that's the key. Poison them and let, let the poison do its work. Poison is definitely OP in the original Dark Souls if you utilize it well in specific circumstances. He's gone. Okay, now we are safe to make our move. So we're going to head up here. Now imagine running up this with those guys shooting at you. Not good. Now our progression is this way, but I'm going to go this way because there is an item I want to get. Soul of a hero. Doesn't seem like much, but every little bit counts. Running back up here. Now I like to move while hugging the wall, like I'm actually not walking straight, I'm walking to the left a little and it drags me forward because it's so easy to fall off this crap. All right, what did he drop me? Dragon Slayer arrows. So the ones with a bow, you can get arrows from them. You can get a Dragon Slayer bow and use those things. And they are really helpful against certain things. Especially, wait for it, dragons. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to drop down. Read message. I did it. Yes, indeed. I did it. That I mean, it's huge. Making it past that is huge. Okay, and we are now with this about to breach the castle. Okay, so what I want you to see is we've got some doors here 
There's some chests and do not progress past this point right now. Instead, open this door. Take a look inside, and what do you find? One, a bonfire, and two, Knight Solaire. So let's talk to Knight Solaire real quick. Oh, there you are. You've been quiet these days. Smooth summoning out there. Anytime you see my brilliantly shining signature, do not hesitate to call upon me. I got you. You've left me with quite an impression. I would relish a chance to assist you. Thank you. And actually, the big boss of this area, the arguably the penultimate, uh, not penultimate, it's the finest boss in the game. He is the summon you can summon. You really are fond of chatting with me, aren't you? If I didn't know better, I'd think you had feelings for me. Oh no, dear me. Pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> Night Slayer, you are a laugh riot. Okay. Let's light the bonfire. And just so we're prepared, because this is basically where we're going to wrap up, but I know some things I'm going to want to do while I'm in here. And one of them is to use this to get twin humanities. It also heals you. I didn't really need the healing considering, but um, I wanted the humanity. And then I'm going to do one more humanity. Because this is going to become a major staging area. And then this is a fantastic place to do farming. Okay, I just realized I'm actually going to need more. So we're going to reverse hollowing. So I'm back to human form. So I can kindle the bonfire. Kindle it once. Kindle it twice. And what I need to do, before I forget, is use one more humanity. Because I forgot I was, I had died, so I was back to hollowed, so I couldn't do it. I need to kindle one more time. So I have now kindled up and ready to go. And this is where we are going to stop. So um, we have breached the castle, and as you could tell, even with my little cheat method, or cheese method, I still ended up dying, and almost died again coming back. It is just a really challenging and, on the overall, rather annoying section. But it's also, you know, like, once you're in it, it's one of those moments that it gives you the satisfaction of beating a boss whenever it's not a boss, which is just, you know, neat. But okay, so that's where we are. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please like and subscribe and come back next time while we explore the interior of the palace. And hopefully, if time permits, I'll show you my farming around in here to rack up a good bit of souls. So I will see you next time. Farewell. <laughs>